all them motherfuckers, they think they're bad motherfuckers. I want them to fight the Mexican mafia. <laughs> no, I'm really, I'm serious though. I don't smoke and talk and shit, but I'm serious. Recently, Mike Tyson weighed in on the controversy surrounding the Isaac Cruz versus Raleigh Romero bout, talking about the cheating allegations against Cruz regarding his knockout victory over Romero. As a renowned figure in the boxing world, Mike Tyson's opinion and commentary on significant boxing events carry significant weight. Pitbull Cruz claimed the WBA Super Lightweight Championship by defeating Rolly Romero. Perched in his designated corner amidst the break, Romero found himself drenched in water, though it seemed evident that he yearned for a more potent revitalization. Cruz commenced the second round by aggressively targeting the body before transitioning to attacks upstairs, while Romero aimed to maintain distance. However, Cruz persisted in closing the gap, unleashing powerful strikes with determination. Both fighters exchanged powerful right hands as the second round came to a close. During the third period, Raleigh showcased his adeptness in stabilizing the situation aboard the vessel. The audience's disapproval hinted that his actions were effective. Their frustration likely mirrored Cruz's sentiments. As the session's final minute approached, Cruz intensified his efforts, responding to Raleigh's tendency to linger in the interior. Cruz didn't require any prompting to engage in close-quarter combat, and he promptly seized the opportunity. The contender surged forward, unleashing a thunderous left hook to Romero's midsection, followed by a swift strike to the head in the fourth round. With relentless intensity, he pummeled Romero with a series of rapid-fire blows, eliciting a chorus of fervent, mi hai ko chants echoing throughout the arena. Referee Thomas Taylor issued a warning to Romero in the fifth round for holding, and later in the match, he penalized the title holder by deducting a point for committing the same offense. Before the bout, Romero expressed confidence in his ability to fend off Cruz's advances. However, Pitbull Cruz evidently had a differing opinion. Persistently, Cruz pressed on, landing a solid straight right as Romero attempted to evade to his left. As the bout unfolded, Cruz's intensity seemed to wane from its initial fervor, yet he managed to connect with a precise left hook, followed by a powerful right hand. Meanwhile, Romero began to find his rhythm with his own right hand strikes. Suddenly, Cruz unleashed a lightning fast right uppercut that collided with Romero's chin, instantly plunging him into a perilous situation. The winner, a man from Las Vegas, attempted valiantly to shoot back to push Cruz off him despite being sleepy and trying frantically to hold on. Romero was cleared by the doctor to enter the eighth round, but the fight seemed certain from the start. Here is how Romero reacted after the fight. You did take more punches than you thought you would, so what went wrong during this fight? It's, it's okay. I, 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 I want to tell everybody, just thank you for coming out, and, uh, and honestly, happy Easter, everybody, you guys. Jesus, it's like Jesus was re re resurrected, I'll be back. I want to tell everybody happy Easter and thank you for supporting me and following me. Romero might have embraced the brief respite as the action halted for the tape to be secured around one of Cruz's gloves. Yet as the fighters reconvened at the ring's center, Cruz unleashed a flurry of lefts and rights, breaking through Romero's defenses. With only 56 seconds into the eighth round, the referee decided he had seen sufficient, intervening to halt the match. The atmosphere at T-Mobile Arena erupted into chaos as Romero surrendered his title. Despite displaying commendable bravery, he found himself unable to fend off the relentless onslaught of hooks that ultimately brought his evening to an abrupt end. Pitbull basked in a thunderous reception from the crowd as they erupted with excitement upon spotting him in the entrance tunnel before his ring walk. The cheers only amplified as he stepped into the ring but they paled in comparison to his determination to reign as a champion for an extended period. With bold challenges to fighters like Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis, despite his narrow defeat to the latter in December 2021, he remained steadfast in his pursuit of dominance. The fight also prompted Ryan Garcia to swiftly seize the chance to challenge the newly crowned champion. Ryan Garcia seems to be treading the same path as Raleigh Romero, 
indulging in trash talk without fully comprehending the challenge ahead, all in an attempt to provoke his opponent, Devin Haney, whom he is scheduled to face in April for the WBC super lightweight title. Garcia tweeted, I would sleep Cruz. You guys are delusional. After I KO Haney, I would gladly handle him easily. The initial post marked just the beginning of a series of remarks he shared on the X platform following his declaration to sleep cruise in jest. Yet, shortly thereafter, he penned another comment expressing his admiration for Pitbull. Garcia tweeted, In the end, I respect Pitbull. He's a small fighter able to KO bigger fighters. A fight would be great. Let's do it one day. I'm focused on the task ahead, but that would be fun. Following his decisive technical knockout victory, Pitbull swiftly ascended to the zenith of the boxing world. Despite the tantalizing prospect of squaring off against Gervonta Davis for a lucrative purse, he chose to mark his triumph with an audacious challenge to all potential adversaries brave enough to step into the ring against him. Garcia immediately tweeted a challenge claiming, you don't know boxing if you really think Pitbull beats me. I fought so many fighters like that in my life, it would be a field day. Ryan Garcia is slated to go head-to-head -head with Devin Haney on April 20th. Should Garcia emerge victorious, the possibility of a bout with Isaac Pitbull Cruz looms on the horizon for both pugilists. Rolando Romero's championship reign turned out to be a bitter farce. His flimsy crown was ruthlessly unmasked by the tempestuous force known as Isaac Cruz. Amidst the backdrop of a thrilling welterweight showdown, Cruz pulverized Romero's defenses seizing the WBA junior welterweight title with a commanding TKO triumph in the eighth round. The outcome seemed inevitable from the very first bell. Cruz unleashed a devastating counter left hook that rocked Romero, causing his legs to wobble like gelatin. Despite the onslaught, Romero managed to cling to the ropes, barely surviving the round but signaling the beginning of a relentless barrage. Nonetheless, the referee had to intervene and halt the fight in the eighth round. This outcome forced Leonard Ellerbe to swallow his earlier boasts as his fighter endured a crushing defeat at the hands of a formidable adversary. Leonard Ellerbe once confidently asserted that Isaac Cruz lacked the knockout power to dominate his opponents. However, a fan recently called him out on social media, reminding him of those words after Cruz's fight ended in an unexpected stoppage defeat at the hands of Pitbull. Alerbe, humbled by the outcome, openly acknowledged his mistaken prediction and commended Cruz for his impressive performance in the ring. Alerbe wrote, Yup, I sure did, and he had a heck of a performance props to him for doing his thing. THX for tuning in. The 4th of May will be another banger on Amazon Prime. He is now anticipating the fight that Jamie Mungia and Canelo Alvarez will soon engage in which will be streamed on Amazon Prime. Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, meanwhile, shared videos of themselves giggling uncontrollably during Romero's performance on social media. Elerby was offended by this and indicated how disgusted he was with their actions. De La Hoya and Hopkins stirred up a storm of controversy when they shared an Instagram post ridiculing Romero's recent loss. Their laughter and De La Hoya's tactless comparison of Cruz to a Chihuahua didn't sit well with many, leading to a barrage of criticism. Leonard Ellerbe, Romero's promoter, swiftly condemned their actions as utterly lacking in class, emphasizing the inherent risks associated with the sport. Wow, Raleigh is okay, but what if he wasn't and something tragic happened? He questioned, reminding everyone of the very real risks fighters face in the ring. Ellerbe continued after that. He gave the new champion and his squad props and acknowledged Cruz's outstanding performance while tempering his criticism with a hint of class. Within the realm of boxing, likening oneself to the greats of the sport serves as both homage and assertion. Isaac Cruz, buoyed by a notable triumph, boldly ventured into this territory. With his recent conquest over Rolando Romero and securing the WBA junior welterweight title, Cruz didn't merely seize victory. He made an emphatic declaration. Cruz mirrored Mike Tyson's ferocious demeanor, prompting him to share a split-screen picture with Tyson on Instagram. This gesture of admiration sparked discussions. However, delving deeper, 
What does drawing parallels with a legend really signify? Is it an assertion of self-assurance or does it border on hubris? Isaac Cruz asserted his supremacy in the boxing arena with a decisive victory over Rolando Romero in the eighth round. After this remarkable achievement, Cruz took to Instagram, sharing a montage featuring himself and boxing legend Mike Tyson in a classic guard stance. He accompanied the post with the caption, Mexican Mike Tyson, showcasing his admiration for the iconic fighter. This display of respect garnered swift attention from the boxing community. Interestingly, boxing correspondent Michael Benson recently posted a screenshot of Cruz's social media tribute to the iconic Mike Tyson on X. This homage swiftly ignited a flurry of responses from fans across various social media platforms. First, a user made fun of Isaac Cruz's remark, saying the boxer was being unduly ambitious by drawing comparisons to Mike Tyson. They said, bro thinks he's Mike Tyson. Another closely followed suit, suggesting with a similar amount of humor that Isaac Cruz's self-comparison was ludicrous. They posted, he thinks he's him. From an analytical standpoint, it's worth noting that simply imitating Tyson's iconic fighting stance or utilizing rudimentary defensive tactics doesn't capture the essence of Tyson's unparalleled mastery in the boxing arena. This perspective highlights the exceptional attributes that set Tyson apart as an incomparable figure in the annals of boxing history. In contrast, some fans took a more straightforward approach to critique, underscoring the irreplaceable nature of Mike Tyson's legacy. They stressed that Tyson's singular presence in boxing cannot be duplicated merely by mimicking his style or tactics, acknowledging his unparalleled status within the sport. Even amidst an impressive display, drawing parallels with Mike Tyson is always a risky move. Nonetheless, Cruz seems to have navigated this comparison adeptly, garnering abundant praise from fans, particularly for his fierce and unyielding fighting approach. Having said that, Isaac Cruz's recent Saturday night performance has captivated fans and sparked viral attention. The comparison to Mike Tyson gains substantial weight when the legend himself acknowledges the similarities, serving as compelling evidence of Cruz's exceptional abilities. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.